This is an elimination game. And the shock right now in this community around this program that Oregon State, the defending national champs, taking on Creighton. The Beavers are a loss away from elimination. Here's how the bracket shapes out. Michigan yesterday got a terrific mound effort and three home runs, shut out Creighton. Creighton now against Oregon State and that Cincinnati game won for the ages last night. So the Beavers trying to bounce back and they're going with one of their big guns, Grant Gambrell. Stock, what do you got? Well, you know, he's a big guy in a big game. A fastball, really good curveball, a little bit of changeup. You won't see it a whole lot. You know, he has been great. Now, he had a little little tenderness in his arm early May since coming back has been fantastic. I know in talking with the Creighton coaches, they were a little concerned about his fastballs and his hard stuff away. That'll be something we'll have to watch. Now, this is a Creighton offense that can score runs. They won 13 of their last 14 headed into the tournament. A couple guys to watch in the middle, Jake Holton and Will Robertson. You know, these guys have to, have to change their approach from yesterday. Yesterday, just not aggressive. And this team got here by big swings, being aggressive early in the count. Yesterday, it was not good. Just six singles, and that's it. State was playing not to lose. Oh, that's a great example. And it can be tough to flush. In the air, Kyler McMahon is there, and he makes the catch. This is a very different team than won the national championship last year. Last year, it was an offensive juggernaut. This year, pitching is probably the strength. Parker Upton, switch hitter, left fielder. And he lines one into right field for a base hit. And the Blue Jays have a runner. And the Blue Jays also have some guys that won some awards, including this guy, Jake Holton. Good lead by Upton. And he's running, swing and a miss. Rutschman's throw is... Not in time. And a stolen base, but a strikeout. Upton in scoring position. And Strunz hits it in the air. Bo Phillip, the shortstop. And he makes the catch. Blue Jays threaten. Beavers get their first swings. Coming up. Evan Johnson gets the task of taking on the defending national champs. He's not big in stature. He's 5'11", but he's got big stuff. Fastball, slider, curveball. He's going to challenge today. Very cerebral pitcher, so he's studied every one of these hitters. Adley Rutschman certainly is the guy you worry about, but the top and the bottom of the order performed pretty well against Cincinnati. Both Tyler Malone and Kyler McMahon had their first home runs of the season. He pitched very, very well on the road. He had a lot of road wins in and out of conference. Got him inside corner. Got to go, okay, that's part of the game plan with Rutschman on deck. Long way to go for Collins, and he can't get there. O2 to Rutschman. Got him with a fastball, 91. A little in, and then he busted him out. Beavers first and second, two outs. On the ground, gobbled up there. Strunz goes to second in time. Both teams threaten, no runs yet in Corvallis. A hotbed of college baseball. Three national championships. High breaking ball, and a deep fly to right. And Isaac Collins goes deep. Creighton is on the board, his sixth of the season, and their first run of the tournament. And not only is it the first run of the tournament, I think it's the first extra base hit for Creighton. And this ball is tanked from your leadoff hitter. Remember, we talked about yesterday, they were very guarded, swinging for contact. You can see how much looser they are today. Trying to the home ballpark. TD Ameritrade Park, home of the College World Series. Smacks it into left field, that's a base hit. And the bats are starting to come around for Creighton right now. Rutschman throws behind the runner and it's into right field. Robertson is hurt at first base. Holden gets to third. Taylor Oregon State's first baseman in lunging for the Rutschman throw. 
Got tangled up with Robertson. Line drive, base hit over the head of Phillip. And Creighton has another run. Ball is bobbled. Racing for second. Struts is in. Runner home. Robertson scores. 3 0. Well, there's Ed Service for you. The coach sitting at third base understands the situation here. Now this, now the, again, the ball gets over. This is McMahon now. He's learning how to play center field and bobbles it here. Robertson gets a terrific jump from first base and not once did Ed Service stop him from going around third base. They're trying to get him at least into the fourth or fifth. Strike three called inside corner. Hovey turns. Uh, I workload. High pop, Vilchis fighting the sun, steps over his mask and makes the catch. And another nice inning for Evan Johnson and the Blue Jays. Pitching and defense, normally the strength of this team. Letting them down a little bit. Will Hannafan with the bunt. Mendezona and on a tag, he's out. Just put him all the way over. If your second baseman goes, I think he should go. Into the bat, little floater into right center field and it is caught. Diving catch, Kyler McMahon. Major League Baseball draft. Adley Rutschman, many people feel, will be the number one overall pick. Swings at a first pitch fastball, hits it in the air to left. Parker Upton races in, and he makes the catch. And Rutschman is 0 for 2 in this game. And he rifles one down the left field line. Parker Upton into the corner. Boy, you got to feel good for Zach Taylor. In with a double, a head first slide at second base. That's what you think about Kevin Stalker. You think about the last three or four at bats. <laughs> he hurt you. You know, some of the best advice that I ever got in the big leagues was this, and that was if you come out every day, if you're going to be a 200 hitter, in this case, Zach Taylor is under 200. If you're going to be a buck 29 hitter, you have to be the best buck 29 hitter that day on the field. What Lost him, and they're loaded. 3-1 pitch, went after it and pops it up behind first. Holton is back, that's trouble, and it's caught there. Collins goes down, fires it home, a run's going to score. The Blue Jays get an out, but they may have an injury or two. Two players are down. Collins made a terrific catch in traffic with contact and was able to get the throw home. It's going to go as a sacrifice, and Oregon State is on the board. The other two runners did not move up. Oof. Oh, boy, it looked like they conked knees there. What a terrific play just to hang on to the ball by the second baseman here. That's Will Rob Robertson, yeah. the... Oh. In the air, shallow right, Collins is called off and it's Robertson. This time no collision, 3-1 Creighton. Boy, righty on righty changeup and he tripled up on it. Let's check in with Chris Cotter. Chris, and oftentimes if you drag it, much like dragging an infield, you can fluff it up again. That is a hit batter. Strunz is hit. He turned away from it. Of course, the, the wrinkle in the rule this year is you cannot dip your shoulder or turn towards it. A little conversation here, and this might be 
some time for the pen. I just, Gambrell's okay on a couple, but then he loses it real quick. I just don't think you can take that chance. Get into your strength, and that's your pen. 3-2, sprayed towards short. Now, Phillip was behind the bag at second, so he's got to go to first to get the out. Line drive right at third, and Mendezona squeezes it. Outfield deep. Phillip has five home runs. In the air to right field, fairly deep. Robertson leaps, and he makes the catch! Will Robertson, who has been knocked around and kicked and pummeled and hit to the wall, and he got it, and it's still 3-1. There ain't nothing better than a night like this. No, there ain't nothing better than a night like this. Collins hits that ball to left center field, hits it pretty well. Casey's after it, won't get it. Hops up against the wall. Good speed with Isaac Collins, racing around second, headed for third. High throw, he's in there with a triple. Seventh triple this year. He led the Big East in triples. Dylan Pierce. Little Looper, center field. McMahon is there, and he makes the catch. Creighton leaves a runner at third, bottom of the six, coming up, 3-1 Blue Jays. Give you an idea with Sikowski and talking with their pitching coach. To left and deep, Upton back, leaps and has it against the wall. Second straight inning with a leaping catch by a Blue Jay. This time Parker Upton up and has it. Put him down on the turf for a good minute. Inside outs one, and it floats fair down the left field line. Big man can run, too, and he's got himself a double. Will Robertson, the junior out of Loose Creek, Missouri. And two runs came across, and that gave Creighton a 3-0 lead. Prince hits that one, shallow left. Casey was deep, charging in, and he dives and he's not going to get it. It pops up, throw behind the runner at third. Robertson is back in. We have talked about Oregon State and how deep they play their outfield, especially Casey in left field. And a move to third, and it's thrown away. Here comes Robertson, throw to the plate. He's in there. And it's 4-1. I, I don't really understand why Oregon State feels they have to be tricky in this situation. It's possible maybe they thought there was a squeeze coming, so they did this play. Again, it's a play that you rarely perform, so then in a big moment like this, you're going to try to make this happen. It's just boxed over there by my Mendezoni. He just misses it. And he got him. So Pierce comes back to get Hovey. Creighton has found their offense, and they've needed their defense. A Capital One rewarding performance in right and in left. This was fifth inning. This was Will Robertson with runners on making the catch. And in the sixth with another runner on. A leaping grab by Parker Upton. Love it. Now that fence in left, by the way, with the extension above it, you have to hit it over that. That's a 15-foot wall in left, but an 8-foot wall in right. There's a look at the addition to the fence in left. Line drive, well hit. Malone got into a dive. Catch! Got it! Upton again! Wow. Got him. Live fastball. The Creighton Blue Jays trying to stay alive. Including a solo homer and a triple by Isaac Collins, their leadoff hitter. 
That ball down the right field line could be trouble. Malone giving chase, sliding and holding the catch. Tumbling on the warning track. That's a nice play. When they did his vote for him, out of all the votes, he had 38, 38 players. He had 37 yeses. They wanted him as captain. Rutschman to center and deep. Hannafin back. And he makes the catch. 400 feet from home plate, Adley Rutschman heads to the dugout, and they stay on their feet. to shallow center. Preston Jones slides and can't get it. Not stopping and hustling is Upton and he's in at second base. It's going to be a bloop double and we check in with Chris Carter. Chris? Liner leaping catch. Taylor to second. Double play. How do you teach three slots? Nasty breaking ball. Andy Armstrong goes down swinging. Take again. 3-1 count. Casey takes down low. And there's a base runner. They'll need another. Chopper over the middle. Collins bobbles it. Everybody's safe. Up the middle. Collins got one. Double play. Creighton wins it. And the defending champs go down in Corvallis. The Blue Jays, the Big East champs, upset Oregon State. 4-1 the final. Collins to Strunz to Holton. And the Blue Jays live to play another day. So look, here's the thing with it's a tough loss and you get a good look at Adley Rutschman. And I think, you know, congratulations to Creighton, but to Adley Rutschman, terrific career here at Oregon State. All the winning that they have done, big hats off to him.